Greetings everyone and welcome to this new video which is going to be an overview of the SAS Studio interface and how to upload a data file from your PC. So note that all of this, all the SAS Studio interface, all of it is online. You will need a stable internet connection. Now the folders which we see here are stored on the SAS Studio cloud. SAS cloud. So this is not the representative of your PC's file. So if you want to upload a data set from your PC, you would manually need to do so. On the right side of the screen here, we have our program file, which contains a sheet for the code, which we'll be writing our code here. The log, which contains error warnings and notes. If our code does not work or if there are certain mistakes or perhaps some computation needs some clarification or has gone wrong and the result section of course as the name suggests will provide us with our output the result output the tasks and utilities drop down menu provides people who are not comfortable or do not or just are just plain lazy to write a code so this will help those people to automatically without writing any code run basic analyses mind you not complex analyses in SAS. So as I already mentioned to upload a data set into the SAS studio SAS cloud we would need to go to the upload icon select that choose our data set which we want to upload and upload it. Note that uploading a data set into the SAS cloud does not mean that it is ready to use or it is attached quote unquote for our analysis. We would need to manually do so. All of the codes in R are preceded by the PROC argument which is which stands for the procedure. So PROC import is the function for importing any type of data set or file and SAS studio will automatically guide you with its code. So we will need to manually enter our files location, which can, which we can do so by right clicking the CSV file, going to properties and let's just copy paste the location so control plus c and enter it into double inverted we would also need to specify using the dbms argument the type of file in this case it is a csv file we would also need to specify our output file that is the name of the data set which we are giving name of the file so in this case we'll just label it df stands for data frame and if we had already uploaded a file in in a prior analysis we would also like to replace that file with our new file and now it's time to run this procedure this code and if some error occurs or some warning um, arises we can find it in the log tab here and lo and behold our data set has finally been uploaded to SAS. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.